the 26th of March and this upload is concerning matters regarding sanity and sobriety. Uh, last night, this morning, um, I was thinking about how people in this community are espousing values of sobriety. Um, as a member since 2006, um, I'm wondering what's become of the concept of amends. Um, there's been very, very serious offences perpetrated against me, unjustifiably, as I keep sharing about, uh, for the interests of people with a conscience and a sense of moral duty. And um, these offences have not been confronted or rectified. Um, what I find quite insane is that there are people, um, adults, professionals, that think they're in a position to intrude and impose upon a person that they have no engagement with and uh, no involvement with and have no business even discussing and have caused the most detrimental of damage and harm without any concept of the consequences um, prior to being married, I had a very productive, fulfilling lifestyle. Since being married, people have trampled on my constitutional rights and have violated my spiritual light body and have done detrimental damage to my body. As a woman that has survived what I've survived and without any justice being served, um, the horror of such assault of a woman's body is absolutely horrendous. Um, not only that, from a spiritual perspective, from a fellowship perspective, people in a community, as I've mentioned over and over again about how people have taken credit and acclaim for only recent progress and development that they've been involved in. And while I've been doing this since 2006, a community has collectively disrespected and disregarded the purpose of rights, human rights. Um, as I've mentioned, there's been assistance withheld from me. Supports and services have been withheld from me. I live independently and I'm being intruded upon and I'm being violated and my privacy is being violated. From a human rights perspective, this is a very serious situation. And people, knowing the offences that have been perpetrated against me, which are numbering over what I've said already, about 20 to 30 offences, without any of those offences being rectified or compensated for, um, leaves a lot to the imagination about how things are going to be. Um, the offences have caused very serious issues, not only for me, but for the professionals involved due to the compromise and jeopardy that they have, you know, with regards to their professional morals and ethics. So these issues that have been caused by these people perpetrating hate crime and these people thinking they're going to say what they want and cause very serious defamation and obstruct justice for a woman that has been victimised and violated in the community simply due to hate crime is quite serious. This upload isn't just for the interest of the fellowship because it's an insane situation that people that have caused these offences without making amends think they're in any position to perpetrate any further offences and wrongdoings and any further harm. So basically, um, as a mentally healthy individual, the role of the mental health services needs to consider the people causing this kind of insanity. Because human rights violations is a sign of insanity. And people that don't have the capacity or the maturity to confront their wrongdoings are showing a very serious incompetence with their uh, mindsets and their morals. So um, as a healthily sane individual living independently that's suffering from these people and their wrongdoings, 
Uh, this in this upload is for the interest of the fellowship. This upload is also for the interest of victim support groups and the supports required to protect citizens in society that are fully competent, fully sane, that are being victimised and defamed and that need the supports of such organisations as victim supports groups against these kind of people. They are setting a bad example to young children, whether they realise it or not. And as a teacher, I have very serious concerns. This is awful for any adult to be experiencing, for a woman to be experiencing this, for a victim to be experiencing this, is very worrying. So this upload isn't just for the fellowship, it's also for the authorities to acknowledge because I don't appreciate my hard work being disrespected and my positive contributions to society that I have not, you know, been acknowledged for. There are people uh, freeloading on my work due to the theft of my creative work and my intellectual work since 2006. Um, the false acclaims in the past two years and the miraculous recovery of individuals in society that have short memories about their progress and the origins of their progress and that have violated and victimized me and exploited me and stolen from me um, I have huge concerns and this is a very serious issue for the authorities and for victim support groups and for fellowship members to acknowledge because hate crime is a malaise a spiritual malaise and a mental malaise if people think they're going to trample on people's human rights um, it doesn't say much um, it's disrespectful and it's disingenuous and it's um, immoral so from that perspective I'd appreciate it if the mental health services would address the insanity that's been caused in society thinking that hate crime is tolerable because there is nothing tolerable about the spiritual assault of a light worker, the violations of a private citizen, the privacy violations of a private citizen, and the defamation of a law abiding citizen. So, as is common knowledge, I've been victimised and support services and advocacy have been intentionally withheld from me. I've sought a protection order that I'm entitled to, and I have also sought legal supports that have also been prevented and obstructed. So these are the circumstances for human rights agencies to acknowledge and confront and people power and the abuse of power and the abuse of people's positions in power um, is very worrying when victimising and violating and wronging an innocent woman, mother and deserted wife. Um, there isn't any carte blanche for anyone to just trample on human rights. And as a law-abiding citizen, I am absolutely disgusted to be in this situation and I hope that is apparent in these uploads. As a mother and as a teacher and as a deserted wife, it's absolutely despicable that any modern woman in 2020 would be mistreated and wronged as I'm being wronged for no justifiable reason except for hate crime. And that's what's happening. So if people in power want to ignore this situation to their detriment, and to society and culture's detriment because hate crime and human rights violations are intolerable and it is a sad sign of the times when people try to negate a positive contribution to society and the very serious defamation and wrongdoings that have occurred. So this upload is for the interests of the authorities and I'd appreciate it if they would prevent any further offences being perpetrated against me. I've suffered med medical negligence, medical incompetence, violations of bodily integrity from spiritual violence that is no secret to this community. But due to the ongoing offences, it's of public interest that this be addressed and not ignored. Because if it happens to one woman, how many other women will be assaulted like this? Human rights and women's rights and children's rights are all very relevant. And UN agencies, regardless of power players and the abuse of power, have an obligation to safeguard all citizens' rights within society. So, for today, that's my upload.
And I'd appreciate it if the people that have an incompetent uh, ability or lack of ability to tell the truth would mind their own lives and stop causing trouble in society with defamation and wrongdoings and offences. And I'd appreciate it if the UN agencies would seriously consider confronting this issue for me, please. There's been an obstruction of justice and there's been assistance withheld from me. And I've been suffering since I've given birth in this country. So that's my upload. And uh, I'm in Tralee County, Kerry. And it's pretty serious. Health is wealth. And the professionals in this situation have facilitated a vendetta of hate crime and injustice. So uh, if they wouldn't mind, I'd really appreciate it if the UN would consider this issue a little bit more seriously.